Welcome to episode 23 of our Net Zero Build. This is gonna be speaking about the transportation highway, which we have above me here. We just had a video speaking about rock wool and the insulation, again, how that plays a role with the design of the transportation highway. And again, stay tuned. We have some other amazing videos upcoming here shortly about the multi-sliders that you see here from Benelli, these triple pane glazed uh, units that are all throughout the house. So let's talk about transportation. So the transportation highway, one of the most important things in pre-con, and this is why it's really important for us as builders to be involved in the design process, is as talented as our architects and designers are, you know, and our engineers, what's really difficult is what's designed, can it be built? And what we mean by that is that a lot of times you have these amazing designs and homes are becoming more sleek, they're tighter, right? Uh, you can see here, especially in our modern designs, we have very limited trust space. So you're thinking about, okay, logistically, how do we get all our mechanicals in our fire sprinklers? We're cramming in so much material from uh, HVAC ducts and we have makeup air and then we have these big appliances and we have electrical and low voltage and TVs and theaters and all this amazing product that's going in the house, but it's really tight. And a lot of times, especially with this house, which is a good example, is we have buildings that are separated with ICF and then we have SIPS trusses that we don't want to core through uh, or, or work around. And so one thing that's really key is the way that we design this. And this is why it's really important to involve the builder. As you're looking structurally, you know, we work with Bluebeam. We'll layer the, um, all of the plans internally to make sure that we can really understand the details of the truss calcs, make sure how the trusses are designed. And this is really key as we're thinking about shades. You can see behind me here, we have shades here, automated shades. This is very common for our clients where they have a lot of glass. We have to understand linear diffusers. So if we have these long linear diffusers that are pushing out the cold air, for us it's air conditioned space in Arizona. We don't look at heated spaces in other parts of the country. But notwithstanding, you know, whether it's heat or air conditioning coming out, you have to understand the truss layout so you can get these linear diffusers in. There's a lot of logistics to work through at pre-con. That way as you get into the build, you're not worried about all the costs that could arise, you know, because you didn't find this beforehand. Now, what's really important as you see here, is on our roof we have a SIPS truss. We show this on an earlier video. Go back to the SIPS trusses that we have, the SIPS roof that's R50. This gives us R50 insulation. Again, this is, think of it as an ice cream sandwich. We have our OSB, our 12 inches of foam and OSB. So it's an ice cream sandwich of insulation that protects this net zero build. Now with that, we have to figure out, okay, how do we run all of the equipment that runs here in the great room, as you can see here, and really throughout the whole house. And you can see this really small truss system. We have this web truss system above me. We have these trusses running uh, here north to south, all the way through the great room. And so what we did is we had to come up with this design. We work with Circa Lighting. Circa has these uh, smaller boxes, as you, as you can see here. And this is for the LED lighting that Circa's providing. Rhea that has a great product. If you think about low energy, you know, that keeps that constant flow. Rhea's come up with this amazing four inch duct they can bring the air conditioning all through the great room here. And you can see that each of our vents here has its own individual duct. And they're only four inches. So now this can run back and forth through our trans transportation highway. They're very energy efficient. So it gives us that, uh, that low energy needed, but still pushes the air that we need all throughout this area. And now we can run everything nice and clean. We don't have to penetrate the SIPS truss up above. It all sits on top of our little truss system. We get drywall up to the top. We have our shades. These boxes get, um, we, we drywall over these. We have our, our automated shades. And now because this is south facing and keep in mind, especially in the summer, outside we'll have this louvered, automated louver that's electrically, electrically uh, controlled that'll open these louvers and close them to give that shade in the afternoon, especially in the hot summer, which we are now in August to protect this glass from all the heat that could come in and potentially, you know, heat up this house, which would affect our net zero rating. So again, th you know, working through transportation highway, again, Rhea duct is a great product for those thin ducts as you're trying to work through confined spaces. It was a great solution here. So now this is really key because now we're going to talk about Kohler and their DTV shower system. And again, 
more logistics with mechanical and plumbing and how important that is to think through. So check out this next video with DTV.